Halos, <laughs> this is Mari or Ikanza and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a Ravenclaw lookbook which I am just so excited for. This is the most fun I've ever had making a video and it really just, I just really hope you guys enjoy it too. This will not be like any other Harry Potter lookbooks out here on YouTube because <laughs> I was highly inspired by those Instagram mood board accounts where they kind of make a fashion inspo post inspired by the Hogwarts houses and their aesthetic and they kind of make a story behind them like Sophia who is great at charms and loves gazing stars and I was really inspired by those posts I thought those ideas were so cute and I had so much ideas myself so here it is I created these Ravenclaw girls that I just love and adore and also I want to do other houses too but I'm starting with Ravenclaw because I'm a proud Ravenclaw. <laughs> so there are four looks in this video and each look will have some little stories behind them, some characters behind them. You can obviously tell this look has a character <laughs> and yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy watching this and let's get started. <laughs> Starting from Ravenclaw number one, she subscribes to the Quibbler, carries magical kaleidoscope goggles with her, gives the weirdest pep talk, friends with more people of the Black Lake somehow, and talented in divination. So obviously this character was inspired by the one and only Luna Lovegrade. I love the quirkiness of Ravenclaw, so I wanted to add at least one peculiar character. To make this look more bubbly and loony, I am wearing these huge star earrings. Tried out this hairstyle that I haven't tried out since I was like 6, but it turned out great, so I might try it again. In real life, I bought these kaleidoscope goggles some time ago because they reminded me of Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds by the Beatles. But in her case, I think she would make these magical goggles by herself and carry them around all the time. And I'm not matching my socks because that's way better. Ravenclaw number one. Ravenclaw number two. She wears muggles hoodies to class, always found in the forbidden section. Drinks pumpkin juice from a butterbeer stain for some reason. Doesn't really care about house points and is actually great at studying. My heart is so if I went to Hogwarts, I would definitely want to be friends with this clever troublemaker. So I'm wearing this blue Adidas hoodie that she would wear to classes, lose some house points, but doesn't really care because hoodies are comfy. I'm gonna name this look comfy but cute because that's definitely what she'd go for. Also, I love this pumpkin juice from a butterbeer stain concept because it explains this oddly rebellious teenager so well.
was Ravenclaw number two. Ravenclaw number three. She could have been a Slytherin. Prefect, head girl, Quidditch captain, espresso 24-7, secretly addicted to chocolate frogs, and can be stubborn occasionally. My heart is As a Ravenclaw with some Slytherin traits myself, I wanted to create some ambitious Ravenclaw. My heart I was inspired by those Queen Bee characters from 90s teen movies when I was creating this look. My heart, so this outfit has that 90s teenage movie moment. Also, I'm holding a time turner because this girl would just obviously use it. I just love this girl boss character. She's gonna be a minister of magic or something more than that. Always followed by her four nasals, loves challenging the bronze eagle shame knockers riddles, proud to be a Ravenclaw, maybe a bit too much, and has a friend going to Ilver Marnie. You cannot make a Hogwarts lookbook without including a uniform look, so here is mine. So I took my old school uniform from years ago and combined it with this cool Ravenclaw tie. I think measles are a great match for Ravenclaws. I can easily imagine this girl just marching through hallways with her measles. just imagining them being alive and walking around in Hogwarts campus and all that stuff. So I really hope you guys felt my joy throughout this video. And thank you so much for watching everyone. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment and all those good stuff. And see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!